Let's welcome back to the final part for your Thursday evening six o'clock show. Chef Owen Sheehan is on dinner duty tonight. Owen, over to you. Remind us what we're having. So we're doing a red pesto in a pasta with some roasted uh, vegetables. So the first thing we need to do is actually roast those vegetables. I have this beautiful red pepper here. That's gonna be used in the pesto itself. We want to roast it, we want to char that flesh. So we just take a knife and we're just gonna take the four sides of it, take off all the flesh and the bottom. And we pop that onto our roasting tray. So again, the roasting tray has all of the veg on it. This is gonna be in the pasta dish itself. And great ones are stuff like eggplant or aubergines. We have some courgettes. You can do mushrooms. We have some onion here, some white onion. And again, what that does is that kind of adds a bit of texture. You get the charred, beautiful color, but it adds volume to the dish as well, which is great. So we add all that on. We do a drizzle of, of olive oil and we'll do a small bit of salt and pepper. And I have one garlic clove there as well. So I'm just gonna leave that on. We might use it in the dish, but that garlic will infuse that oil in the, in the oven itself. So a nice generous pinch of salt and pepper over the top into a really hot oven uh, for about 30, 35 minutes. And when they come out, you have these beautiful roasted vegetables. So again, you see they, they kind of melt down, they char, you get that beautiful color on the outside and to make the pesto. So sun-dried tomatoes are the star of the show here. And it's a really common one. It's a really beautiful, but they're lovely on their own in sandwiches. And a pesto yeah. is great in, in sandwiches and pastas, but it can be quite expensive to buy and really easy to make, to be honest. So we just pop in our sun-dried tomatoes with the oil. That's really important. That's a beautiful sun-dried tomato oil that we want to use. We put in our roasted red peppers. So again, they add a sweetness, they'll add color, they'll add a bit of oil. We do our Parmesan cheese. We're gonna keep some for the dish, obviously. We'll do a nice chunk of fresh basil. Pop that in. And then the last two ingredients are our toasted pine nuts and a clove of garlic. All that goes in. We put a lid on this. We pray that the mixer works on live <laughs> television. And then just blitz that together. So give it a couple of seconds and you'll see that will start to kind of fuse together. You'll get this beautiful red pesto color. And if needs be, pop in a little bit more oil and start to bring that together. And that will hold for weeks in the fridge. You can use that in salads, in sandwiches and wraps in pastas anything at all it all works great so give that a few more turns which is great so to use that i have a frying pan here in front of me i'm going to do a little bit of chicken you don't have to this is a perfect vegetarian dish um, if you want to add a meat sauce then absolutely add chicken um, a fish would work really well here as well so we'll put that in front and center Start, and I've just, I've got a head start here. I started to saute down my chicken. So what we'll do is we'll keep moving here. And we'll take that veg that we've roasted in the pan. It doesn't need to be cooked anymore. Again, we're just kind of combining everything here. The only cooking is the chicken itself. And then we'll yeah. bring some heat into that sauce itself. So bring in those roasted veg. Like that. And then... What I have is some pasta here in the side. So I've just boiled off some pasta. I'm doing um, pappardelle. You could do spaghetti or you could do a um, tagliatelle. Any long strands of spaghetti will work perfectly. So we just cook that down until it's about 80% cooked. Pull it from our pot into our pan. Okay, and we'll keep some of that water, that starchy water. That's gonna help us bring that sauce together. Okay, that's loads there. And the final bit is we'll take our pesto. So again, if you if you don't use it all, that's absolutely fine. Just keep that in a sealed tight container in the fridge and then use that in the kitchen um, whenever you want and, and however you like. So we'll take a bit out, pop that in on top, and it adds that beautiful color and a kind of pop of red and uh, obviously the beautiful olive oil too. So get that in, and then it's just simply a case of your skills in the kitchen. Ah, uh, you're turf. just showing off now, Owen. I am, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hard work is done. So again, just start to infuse that together. That's that pasta water that we have here. That's going to be really handy. So again, that adds a starchiness, and that mixes with the oil. It kind of emulsifies the oil a little bit, and it starts to break it down ever so slightly. So again, keep at that for a couple of seconds. 
the main cooking is done, and that's the best part. And it's a really easy recipe to interchange with basil pesto. So instead of using the sun-dried tomatoes, just take, leave them out and use more basil, um, leaf, fresh basil leaves. Blitz that up and you have a basil pesto. Exact same procedure works fine, you roast mm. the vegetables. And then if you want to use uh, a meat source, you absolutely can. It so looks amazing. We'll just, yeah, yeah. Last little bit of cheese over the top. And then it's good to go. So again, it's perfect for these kind of cold, um, it was wintry during the week. Nice that so we're kind of looking for these quick, fast, easy meals for the family at home. Mm. Absolutely so, delicious. As you plate up there, as always, you can get yeah. all of our recipes on Six Eats. Uh, Owen will put it up on his Instagram page and I will make sure to link it on my Instagram page as well. You will find it there, Owen. That looks absolutely looks delicious. Really, really Owen gorgeous. Sheehan, thank you so much. Thanks, Owen. Thank you so much, guys. Talk to you soon. Thank you.